Welcome back to another nesting vlog. This is probably going to be the last nesting vlog that I post before baby girl gets here. I am currently 37 weeks and six days pregnant and I have a scheduled induction for 39 weeks. So I only have about a week max left of being pregnant. So we just have to finish up a few last things. Um, I'm not even going to lie. I look not good right now. Um, <laughs> I haven't worn makeup in days. I have not brushed my hair in the last couple days and I'm just not looking too hot. So I'm going to try to avoid being on camera, but I still wanted to film because like I said, we still have a few things to get done. So if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I wanted to show you guys these diapers. My amazing friend Hillary sent these over. They are literally the cutest thing. These are, she got them from Walmart. She had them like Walmart delivered to our house, <laughs> which was so sweet of her. They are from Hello Bello um, and they are the Grinch themed diapers. So she ended up getting size two um, because obviously she'll be born probably in a week and then, you know, the holidays are in about two months roughly. So <laughs> um, she was trying to guess what size. So she went with size two. Either way, these will get worn whenever, whatever time they fit her, she will wear them because they are so cute. But these are the two patterns. There is the little max pattern and then the Grinch pattern and they're just so freaking cute so I had to show these shout out to Hillary <laughs> thank you so much I am absolutely obsessed with these diapers they are so cute we have almost everything done in the nursery um, we have to get rid of this cord this is an ethernet cable that we do not need in here anymore and then this is um, the baby monitor that we set up it still has the little plastic on there um, but I want to do something with this cord the uh, crib is like far enough away from the wall like this is like a good foot at least away from the wall um, so, but I want to like somehow like, I don't know, like run it tighter to the wall and like attach it so that it's not just like a loose cord hanging. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, but we do have the crib here um, and we, we can always slide it further away from the wall if needed as well just to keep the cord away. We did replace the cover on this outlet just so that it wasn't like an open, um, you know, outlet uh it's gonna be a while before sh that would actually be an issue for her because she's gonna be in our room in the bassinet but we do want to have like crib time naps and just kind of get her used to it um but again it'll be a while before outlets become an issue but we just wanted to go ahead and get that taken care of so pretty much everything is done in here maybe just like a few last minute things um i did organize all of her clothes these are a little adjusted but i organized all of her clothes by size so it goes all the way down to 2t i think or 24 months or something i don't even know is that the same thing let me know if you know because <laughs> as a first time mom i do not know if there's a difference between 2t and 24 months um but i organized them all by size so we have like newborn uh, zero to three months, three to six months, six to nine, and so on. So we don't have very many newborn clothes. We have these like five hangers of things. And then we do have a few things in this drawer. Um, we have some newborn onesies. These are like long sleeve ones. And then these are zero to three months short sleeve ones. But <laughs> that's all we have as far as newborn clothes go. I am going to do like a whole nursery tour, give you the details on all of the furniture. I'll have all the links. I'll go through her dresser. All of the things will be in that video. Um, but today I have to focus on my postpartum cart, you know, finishing up packing my hospital bag and things like that. Poncho has been hanging out in here a lot. We have a bed in here for him. He's been laying in here all by himself and it is the cutest thing. <laughs> He's like 
I don't know if he knows what this room is. Probably not, but he's just, he's so cute. So this is the corner that I really need to focus on today. I have some laundry to put away. This is our diaper bag. I did pack the diaper bag. I'm gonna do a what's in my diaper bag video. Um, so that will be coming soon. This is our like baby girl's hospital bag. So this is pretty much packed. There's like one thing that I have to put in there. Um, this is like stuff that's for my postpartum cart and just things that I wanna have readily available. Same with some stuff down there, my breast pump, I gotta figure out how to use that. I gotta figure out what parts I need to wash and sterilize and how that works. We have the actual postpartum cart here. I went ahead and filled up our diaper caddy. So we have burp cloths, diapers, wipes, a changing pad, lotion, um, some uh, Aquaphor Baby. This is, I think, a stain remover, a little onesie, and then one of these um, aspirators. And then this is a felt thing that you can like take out and carry wherever. So I went ahead and did that, but I have to organize everything else that is underneath. I have to set up her hatch machine and there's just still some things that need to be done. a few days later it's honestly probably like a week later <laughs> I'm currently 38 weeks and five days so I have two days um, until I go in for my induction which is honestly pretty crazy well really yeah basically like 48 hours um, and I finished putting together my little postpartum cart so I'll kind of show you that um we're finishing up the nesting vlog today this is the final nesting vlog of this pregnancy which is pretty crazy so let me show you guys my little setup for my little postpartum corner so it's still a little bit i mean it's not the most aesthetically pleasing thing but i think it's going to be super functional also our bed is not made it's like half made so ignore that we have like 17 blankets on it <laughs> um but here we have the little bedside bassinet situation um that we're going to be using for the first few months i have a clean sheet on there and that's all that goes in there so this is all set up i have my boppy pillow underneath just um for like i don't know easy reach easy access we'll see if that stays under there but I obviously will kind of figure it out as we go. I have my postpartum cart over here with my breast pump and a little diaper caddy. So I'm gonna do a video like doing like a postpartum cart tour, like a what's on my postpartum cart. I love those videos. So I'll show you what is on mine. Jarvis got the hatch set up, the hatch rest, I think is what it's called. It's the 
second generation pretty cool I downloaded the app it has a little digital clock display and then you can set like presets for noise and lights and things like that so we have that there this is kind of my little things that I reach for on a daily basis we've got Tums we've got gum this has been helping me a lot with my heartburn so I specifically need this one this one is so good I like that it's crunchy <laughs> when you first start chewing it so and this flavor spearmint is the best so we have that I have my daily vitamins and whatnot in there um, I also let me turn this around I also have been experiencing some really bad itching <laughs> on um, my belly where I have some stretch marks and the doctor said that sounds like it is pups is what it's called um, I don't know what that stands for but it's super common in like the very end of pregnancy it's been affecting me for like the last week so I have some hydrocortisone cream that she said I can use um, so I've been using that and lotion <laughs> multiple times a day just to try to keep my skin hydrated and not itchy because it's so uncomfortable it wakes me up at night i i don't think it's super common but um definitely something i like looked it up it's like i don't know 15 percent of women experience it or something like that so not super common i'm just one of the unlucky ones that have been experiencing it so that's fun um but yeah that's kind of like my little corner over here so I'm gonna show you the nursery and what we have done in there and then I guess we'll just kind of finish up any last-minute things I have my hospital bag packed we have the diaper bag packed which is basically baby girls hospital bag um, I have a uh, I can just do a little bump update this is me at almost 39 weeks I'm 38 weeks and five days like I said so I uh, literally am so uh, I like I'm so out of breath I can barely move things are getting definitely tougher for me so yeah so here's what the nursery is looking like I'm gonna do like a full nursery tour when in probably like a week or so definitely after she gets here once everything is like fully fully complete but Jarvis just hung up these clouds and they look so cute we need to like attach the cords so that they are like straight um, on the wall but he just hung these up today so <laughs> they look so cool they're lights and um, we kind of did them like off-center just to kind of like take up more space on this wall and they look really really cool I also hung this up here this was by our front door and I think it works perfectly here um, the colors are spot on kind of looks like a sun setting type situation and I just think it looks really cool <laughs> so we have that there and then I think that's all like that we've added we have the um, baby monitor set up so we have this one that points at the crib and then we have this one over here as well that you can kind of just like see the whole room these are from VTech that's the baby monitor system that we went with um, so we have that all set up I have her diaper bag here which I'm gonna do like a what's in my diaper bag video um, and yeah that's pretty much it I've been bouncing on my ball <laughs> recently um, it actually feels really good like it takes a lot of pressure off of my back so I've been enjoying spending like five ten minutes on that at a time and then we have these clothes here which I'm gonna talk about in a second this literally like was the sweetest thing ever so um, Jarvis got me a little present it's I mean it's for me but it's also for our baby because obviously it's baby clothes but he spent hours at a bunch of different stores looking for outfits to go with each one of Taylor Swift's albums and he printed out a little picture of all of the albums and he even printed out like the Taylor's version album 
of like 1989 red speak now fearless which i thought was so cute <laughs> and i cried for like 10 minutes straight <laughs> when i first saw this i was not expecting it at all he did such a good job so i'm going to show you guys the outfits that he picked out for these um i'm a big taylor swift fan so <laughs> This was so cute and so special, and he spent so much time on this. So let me show you um, all of the outfits that he picked. So first up, we have Taylor Swift's debut album. This is so freaking cute. It's just like light blue and floral. He said he looked for butterfly things, but <laughs> couldn't find anything. Uh, but I think he did such a good job. So this is our debut outfit. Then we have Fearless, which again, spot on with the kind of like yellow theme. So freaking cute. I absolutely love it. Then he did Speak Now, which he said he could not find anything that was this like purple color, except for this plain onesie, which I think is still really cute. The color is spot on. So after he showed me, he was like, well, like I'll like look for like a better one, like a replacement one. I was like, no, this is perfect. So um, we have this cute little purple onesie. Then for red, he literally killed it. This is the um, red, like Taylor's version album. He found a little trench coat, which is so unbelievably cute. And it has like a red onesie underneath. And then also this onesie he added to go with it. He has like, I think two outfits for like two of the albums. So this is the red one. I'm obsessed. This is the cutest thing ever. Like, he literally did so good with this one. This is another one of my favorites. This is for Lover. We have this adorable, like, crocheted dress, and I love the pastel colors. It's so cute. I just, I think this is adorable, and it has these little tights that kind of look like little ballet slippers. So, <laughs> there are a bunch of different sizes, too, so that's so fun. Here's what the back of that looks like and there's just so many cute details then we have this outfit which again i am obsessed with this like this is so cute um this is also for the lover era because the colors are definitely lover colors and it's just a cute little rainbow i love that the sleeves are different colors and i think it has little pants that came with it as well so that's Lover. Then we have 1989, which is very like blue and beachy, very fitting with the little Polaroid photo. So we have 1989. Then we have Reputation, which is the super cute all black um, velvet dress. And he said this was the only like solid black thing that he could find so I think it's like a 2T so it'll be a while before she can wear it but it is honestly so cute and it's just like a nice little layered kind of um velvet dress and I think that's going to be so cute for like the holidays in a couple of years so we have that one then we have folklore oh Oh my gosh, I just <laughs> knocked this over. We have Folklore. This is a, an adorable cream, like, sweater type thing. And then also has matching crocheted pants with it. So, very cute. Very on theme. Then we have Evermore. And this little dress is so cute. And it kind of has the same type of, like, plaid, um vibe as her evermore album cover and then finally we have midnights and this is like a little outfit that has moons all over it and the colors are perfect and he just did such a good job there's um like pants a hat and then this little top that goes with it as well so that is my uh little fun exciting thing that i wanted to show you because he just did such a good job. And like I said, I probably would have cried no matter what, but <laughs> especially being like about to give birth, I was extremely emotional and I just was like, like I couldn't talk because I was crying so hard <laughs> because it was just so sweet and thoughtful. So I've been wanting to show you guys that. He, he gave this to me like two days ago, I think, so. We gotta find a nice little special place 
for these like its own little section in the closet or a little like clothing rack or something would be cute but I want to figure out a way to kind of like display it and keep it all cute and whatnot so there's that I thought I'd give you an update on the bottle sterilizer so far we really really like it we've used it for uh, cleaning or sterilizing I guess bottles so all of our bottles are clean and sterilized and ready for use we have quite a few different brands to try out so we have all of those in there um, also we got my breast pump which I think I talked about maybe earlier in this video and we went ahead and sterilized all of the pump parts as well so we have those sitting here um, we didn't do any of these things yet because it's going to be a while before she's using plates and whatnot but that's all organized and then we have any sort of like formula and stuff up here on this top shelf along with the bottle warmer and then um, these like breast milk storage bags that came with my breast pump as well so this is sort of her whole <laughs> little cabinet in our kitchen but the sterilizer works really well it's a sterilizer and a dryer so we're big fans of this so far we have our hospital bags in here they are like partially packed mine is pretty much packed besides like last minute things like my phone and my pillow and whatnot but i'm gonna do a video showing everything that i have in my hospital bag so this is my hospital bag we have jarvis's hospital bag and then he also will have a backpack with like our electronics and essentials and whatnot but we have those here basically ready to go um and that's i think pretty much it as far as like preparation and nesting that we have left to do i have two days like i said until my induction so um i'm not sure when this video is going up but as of right now in 48 hours we will be i think on our way to the hospital um so i go in in the evening and then start um induction medication <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna get as much filming as I can get done today and then take tomorrow off and just relax and enjoy our last day of not being in the hospital or human parents. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I guess that's gonna conclude our nesting vlog or nesting series our nesting vlog and our nesting series so i hope you guys enjoyed it i had a lot of fun filming it i know jarvis had a good time hopefully being a part of it right <laughs> yeah <laughs> so exciting <laughs> um but yeah it feels good to have basically everything done as i mean as much as we can have done there's still like a few things that we have left to do but for the most part we have it all done so I'm so excited, I'm nervous, I'm scared, and that's going to be it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!